everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really fun Z fold card. So it's a Christmas theme as part of my Christmas workshop for this year, and it's very easy to make. And you can see there I've used the Hells Couple Ditch Village Christmas decoupage topper there, and these are the matching papers, and it's gorgeous. And one of the 12 by 12 papers, they have all these strips, all with a different scene on and each scene will match a topper within the decoupage pack so the whole card just works so well together and I thought the Z fold was great for this particular scene here so you can write your message there or you could put it on the back if you would prefer it's entirely up to you it's a 6x6 six six card so I've already got a pre-made 6x6 six six envelope and I've put some of my vintage stamps there on top I just think it's a nice, another nice little kind of touch and these are hand given most of my cards anyway if I do post them I then usually put the whole family you know uh, all in one big like kind of jiffy bag and then put a proper stamp on that but yeah I like them Okay, so let's make it. So very, very easy. I'm just going to leave that up like so. Okay, so let's bring this all in here. So again, I've got my envelope all done there. And again, some more of my village, um, vintage stamps. And then I've got all my mats and layers. So I've prepared everything, really. All my double-sided tapes all on the back. Everything is done. So it'll be a very quick tutorial. Okay, so along you need a piece of 12 by 6 along the 12 inch side you want to score at 3 then flip your cardstock over and score at 6 okay and the reason we do that is because what we're going to do now is flip it then so that's where you just scored at 6 flip it back over again fold your main one in half because we've scored it correctly and then because we flipped it over it now means that we can fold this one back and you won't get any cracking Okay, and there's your Z fold. So that's that's the card on its own. You can just keep it like that. Then you've got your strip along the bottom. So this piece here measures again 12 by 2. You can have this any width you want, but you need to keep the length the same as whatever the full length of the card is. And again, you want to score here at didn't do my score lines right there. Sorry, three, and again flip it over and score at six and flip it over again fold the main one in half and fold your other one back creating those same folds okay but this time what will then happen <clears throat> yeah so we just folded it like so you're then going to turn it around flip it over and that one is going to stick there and there so it's like that and then the whole thing will fold flat okay then I've got this strip here so obviously if you've got the same paper pack as me then you can choose one of the scenes so this is a different scene and you can see there how cute that is and then I've just pulled out another topper which I've already done there just to kind of match in with it I've gone for the same skyline so it's got the little snowflakes there and that's the same with those two little reindeers so again this is 12 by one and three quarters because this is now going to go on the top and you're going to have a nice in fact it goes right up to the edge because it's the full width of the 12 like so but you'll get that nice border all the way along and we'll stick that on in a minute I'm not going to score I'm just going to fold it and I'll show you that as we go then for your mats and layers so the main mat which is on the back here this is a piece of five and three quarters by five and three quarters. And again, this is the, the specialty paper in the pack and you can see there all of those lovely Christmas lights have got sparkle to them. So I've got that one and then you need two pieces that are two and three quarters by five and three quarters. And that's gonna be for your front mat here and then this inside mat there. Okay, and then I've got another piece here, which I've tried to do the similar kind of size, but you want it to be slightly smaller than the front piece because when it folds flat, it completely conceals that message underneath. Okay, so you want it same kind of shape, but you want it slightly smaller. All right, it's entirely up to you. So whatever topper you've got, and that's why you might have something that's maybe not a square, it might be an oval or a circle, it might be like a big Christmas tree shape. So if that's the case, then it might be better to have your message on this panel here, or like I said before, have it on the back. 
Okay, and then I've just got my other little sentiment there. So that's everything you need. Let's just get rid of that scoreboard. Okay, so first of all, we want to stick down all of our mats and layers. So like I said, I've already put my double-sided tape on the backs of all of these. So you're going to stick one there, one there, and one there. So they're all on the inside. Okay, so I'm just going to go and get that stuck down. Okay, like so. So you'll see now what you've got. How oh, lovely. I really do love that paper. I think it's absolutely stunning. Okay, so next we want this strip here, and we're going to stick this down but before we stick it down actually we'll stick this piece on top so what you want to do is I'm just going to use my wet glue here I would say it's best to pop your glue along this bit but make sure you don't go right to the the bottom and the top it's all right to go to the end here I'm not putting much on you don't need a lot and then I'm just going to pop my strip down making sure I've got a nice even border on the top and the bottom okay like so and then I'm going to pop my glue on the next half here okay and then I've just popped my glue on the next part and then I'm going to kind of fold it back and then fold that right the way around like so and that way you just get a nice join okay and then again that last piece like so. I'm just going to pop some more glue and then as you stick that kind of fold it back. And you'll have a little bit overhang at the very end. And we can snip that off in a minute. That way you just get a really nice join and it fits perfectly and you don't have to worry about doing those silly score lines. So if I flip it over, can you see that tiny bit of overhang? So that you will get that because of the way that we've stuck it. So you just want to very carefully snip that piece off. So now look at that, I've got that really lovely seam. Next we can stick it down. So you want to stick it, it's entirely up to you, you might want to have it like through the middle of the card, like so. You could have it towards the top and have another strip. You can have two strips on here. You could have this thick one and then a thinner one. Like there's there's so many variations to this card, but I'm going to keep it at the bottom like I've done with the other one. So what I'm going to do is just flip it over and grab a pencil and just do a pencil mark. You're not going to see this, just there. And that way I know that that's where I need to put my glue. So I'm just going to do a thin again don't go crazy you don't need a lot of glue okay and then turn it over and then just easily just line it up with the bottom left hand corner there make sure it's all nice and flush and then if you kind of fold it down to where it needs to be make sure it's all stuck down okay and then flip it over and just add glue to this back panel and then you can just fold that right over come back around again and then you can just kind of make sure it's all again perfectly lined up there you have how good does that look so now I'm going to add my topper and I'm going to add that piece last because that way you can make sure that you get this where you want so basically you want your topper lined up in the middle of the card or you know in terms of from the left and the right it's going more towards the top there but I'm just going to pop a bit of glue just on the left hand side of the topper okay and again just make sure you've got equal sides here on the left and the right like so while I've got that one here that's going to go just on the bottom here I just trimmed my white border there on that frame I wasn't so keen on it being as thick as it was and then I'm just going to stick this so it's in line with this one here like so and then this piece I've already put my tape on the back you flip it over and you want to just kind of hold it underneath so see what I'm doing kind of holding it behind like so carefully then just you know now where it needs to be and then you can line it up again you know just make sure you've got e equal sides here and you know it will all kind of when you're doing it you'll kind of know what to do but now when I bring that down you can see it's completely concealed and there's the card easy peasy it's such a quick 
quick card, even with, I know I prepped all of this, but it is a quick card to do. And just make sure all your lines are all burnished there and stuff. But I think they are so cute, gorgeous Z Fold cards. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick Christmas card fun fold tutorial. I've got both my envelopes there already. I am well underway now with my Christmas cards, so I'm so pleased. Um, until next time, please give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and subscribe so you don't get to miss any more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye.